you will find a lot of what we call wannabe marketers. There is a lot of those in this industry, but there is a shortage of really qualified and experienced salespeople and marketers or liaisons, whatever you want to call them. So what are you? What are you looking for if you are looking for a marketer? The difference between mediocrity and greatness is in between your commitment. And you need to create and make that commitment now to be able to become a professional, to be able to learn and want to learn what is going to make you stand out, what is going to be that difference for you to become a successful home health agency. To become a successful home health agency, you must employ people who are, who are like-minded wanting the success of your company. Let's do quick takeaways. I want you to write down two ways you can become a professional in your industry. What do you think from what we've been doing so far with this whole presentation, this whole training? What two ways can you be a professional in your industry? What are the things that I've shared with you that you can actually improve upon and make even better? Now, what are the three things that you need to improve on to be a great marketer? If I ask you right now, what do you feel are the weaknesses that you have? We all have weaknesses. I have weaknesses myself and I always try to make sure that I learn new things to better upon it. What do you think are going to be the three biggest things that you need to improve upon when you start marketing for your company? Now, if you don't have a title of marketer, maybe you're a DON or the administrator or, you know, do you feel that it's not your duty? Well, you have to understand this. It is your duty. Even if you're, you don't have the title of a marketer, you have to understand, okay, that you still are a marketer for the company just because you don't have the title. Everyone working in your office, from the receptionist, from your, your clinical staff, from your nurses, from your home health aides, from your caregivers, from your schedulers, from your billers, even your janitors, everyone working for your company needs to be taught the mindset that your company must succeed in order for them to keep their jobs. And for your company to succeed, there should be constant referrals coming into your company. And everyone should partake in helping the success of your company.